So it, 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 it's a great question. And Canada is always looking to be included inside a North American border so that by America includes Canada and that by Canada includes the US, right? Like that is in order to keep that beautiful fleet free flow of trade across our borders, that is that is what we're looking for. And I think that um, I think there's kind of two elements, security, for Canada means that we're considered a preferred supplier and inside like that we're considered family in that regard and inside any any restrictions like adding uh, valuable um, uh, resources to whatever kind of conversation we're having whether that's on batteries or electricity or or PPEs or, or whatever that Canada is seen within the Canada in, in a North American tent uh, is is one way that we look at it, and then, you know, where are we, you know, where are we uh, also commonly protecting ourselves from threats from outside? So, uh, I, I mean, supply chain conversations just became so much more complicated and so much more intricate uh, in COVID. So um, it's not a Unfortunately, there's not a one size fits all answer to that question. We'd have to look at it on a case by case basis. Understood. And certainly different industries, different elements yeah. related yeah. to supply chain. We did get a question in uh, as we've been on this topic about uh, the, the human resource element of supply chain, if you will, work visas, portable credentials, et cetera. Uh, it sounds like that before COVID became such a, a global uh, force, global pandemic, there was discussion about easement of uh, some of those elements I gather between the United States and Canada. Do you see that getting any steam this year? Or will the fact that it's an election year mean uh, probably not in the near term? No, it, it, I think it's actually getting quite a bit of traction because the, because again, the, the, the fact of move, the movement of um, highly skilled workers across the border and to have to do it in COVID has kind of underlined for a lot of companies, uh, whether they're, um, you know, head offices, just Canadian head offices, or because they met in the auto sector, <laughs> like go through a list in the forestry sector, like, it, it, like there's a lot, we actually have a lot of movement of people and it got very, very complicated in COVID. And so I think that it um, created a kind of laser-like focus among officials and companies about what was needed in order to ensure that there is that uh, free flow. And as we look at recovery, um, and as we look at an administration which is a little warmer to Canada overall, the idea of harmonized standards or the idea of free flow is already built into the conversation. So, I mean, we're, we're, I think we're going to see more uh, North American summitry around a range of issues because Biden and Trudeau aren't going to talk. As I said, it, it happens in four or five layers. And so those relationships are at the departmental ministry level. So um, if you if you have an if you have an issue, the, the pump is primed related to the movement of highly skilled workers between Canada and the US.